when you watch a television program you find that the, the fish dish that's being created is incredibly complicated. It really doesn't have to be that difficult, so don't be frightened of buying and cooking fish. And if you're not sure what to buy, what to do with it, you can always ask for advice from the person who works in the shop. They're the experts, they really do know their product and they'll give you all the help that you need and they'll sell you as little as you would like to buy. I'm going to make a parcel with fish. It can be any fish that you choose. It could be cod, it could be haddock, it could be salmon if you like salmon. Um, and it's the easiest thing in the world. So I'm going to buy some cod fillets and then I'll show you what to do with them. So fish parcels involves a piece of foil with a piece of greaseproof on the top. You can do it with either foil or grease proof, but I like to put the two layers together because it just makes me feel more confident that it's not going to leak. Into the middle of my grease proof I put a handful of spinach. I've washed it. This is from the Green Grocer. It's probably a third the price that you would pay in the supermarket. So a little bed of spinach. Onto that goes my piece of cod. Now, the fishmonger has pin boned it for me and skinned it, but I do like to just check that there's nothing left behind. So run your finger over it just to make sure. And then you can tell it's too long for my piece, my bed of spinach. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to just put the two pieces side by side. Like that. Okay. Next, onto the top of that, I'm going to put some slices of tomato. Just to improve the colour and because of the juicy nature of tomatoes you'll get a little bit more juice in the bottom of your parcel at the end. When you're dealing with tomatoes don't give anybody that stalk, that's just not nice, get rid of that and then two or three pieces of tomato on there and perhaps even a fourth one. So already you can see the colour is so much better and it's improving the food value of the dish as well. Now a squeeze of lemon let me just show you this. This is a supermarket lemon for 30p. That's a greengrocer's lemon for 30p. I know which one I would prefer to use, but I don't want a lot of lemon juice, so I am going to use the small one at the moment. But the difference is phenomenal. So a little squeeze of lemon juice over there. Run it through your fingers to catch those. Little squeeze of lemon and then some herbs, some flavouring. Um, I'm going to put capers on as well because they've got a slightly vinegary flavour and they are particularly good with fish. So a little sprinkling of capers just to pep up the flavour because it can be a little bland. There we are. And then a little bit of parsley on the top as well. little bit of parsley and then seasoning you do need to season fish very very well because it, it does need it and it does need salt even though we think of it as being from salted plants it needs plenty of salt plenty of pepper and then we're going to fold up our parcel we want to seal in all of the juices and the steam so lift up the sides fold it over lift up the ends Crunch them over, and there's your fish parcel. Well, it sounds as though the fish is cooked, so timer off. Let's have a look. It smells good. Now, mind your fingers when you do this, but we're going to unwrap gingerly. The steam is the thing to watch. There it is, a whole meal in a packet. Now you can serve it from the package. You can just lift that onto a plate. Just turn the sides down a little bit and there you have it. A couple of new potatoes with that perhaps, but you've got your spinach at the bottom, your tomato on the top. You really don't need a whole lot else. And the juices in there are looking absolutely lovely. So, Thank you.